South America, the fourth largest continent, is a land of dramatic contrast. It boasts lush rainforests, arid deserts, and towering mountain ranges. But one thing remains constant, its impenetrable landmass. No ship can sail directly under South America. This may seem obvious, but the reason lies deep within the Earth's history. Understanding why requires a journey back in time, to when continents drifted and mountains were born. Imagine a time when the continents we know today were once a single, giant landmass. This supercontinent, called Gondwana, slowly began to break apart millions of years ago. As these massive landmasses drifted apart, oceans formed between them. The South American continent, once nestled within Gondwana, began its own journey westward. This separation, however, was not a clean break. It left behind a legacy of geological upheaval that would shape South America's destiny. The most significant of these upheavals was the formation of the Andes Mountains. This colossal mountain range, stretching over 4,500 miles along the western edge of South America, is a testament to the immense forces at play within the Earth. The Andes are not just a geographical feature, they are a geological barrier, standing as a testament to the power of our planet. They are a symbol of why no ship can ever sail under South America. The Andes Mountains stand as a formidable barrier, but they are not the only geological feature preventing passage under South America. These towering peaks, stretching over 7,000 kilometers along the western edge of the continent, are a testament to the immense power of tectonic forces. The Andes are the longest continental mountain range in the world, and their sheer size and rugged terrain have long been a challenge for explorers and settlers alike. The same tectonic forces that thrust up mountains also unleashed a fiery spectacle volcanic activity. This activity is not just a random occurrence but a direct consequence of the Earth's dynamic interior. The collision and subduction of tectonic plates generate immense heat and pressure, leading to the formation of magma. This volcanic activity, while destructive, played a crucial role in solidifying South America's impenetrable landmass. The eruptions spewed out vast quantities of lava and ash which over time cooled and solidified to form new land. These volcanic rocks and formations are now an integral part of the continent's geology. The subduction of the Nazca Plate beneath South America created a volatile environment. This process, where one tectonic plate is forced under another, is responsible for much of the volcanic activity in the region. The intense friction and pressure at the subduction zone generate heat, causing the rock to melt and form magma. As the oceanic plate plunged deeper into the Earth's mantle, intense heat and pressure cause the rock to melt. This molten rock, or magma, is less dense than the surrounding solid rock, causing it to rise towards the surface. The journey of magma from the mantle to the surface is a complex process, influenced by various factors such as the composition of the rock and the presence of fractures in the Earth's crust. This molten rock, less dense than the surrounding material, rose upwards, seeking an escape route to the surface. When it finally breaks through, it results in a volcanic eruption. These eruptions can be explosive, sending ash and debris high into the atmosphere, or effusive, with lava flowing steadily from the vent. The result was a chain of volcanoes, stretching along the spine of the Andes. This volcanic arc is one of the most active in the world, with numerous volcanoes still erupting today. Each volcano in this chain has its own unique characteristics, shaped by the local geology and the nature of the magma feeding it. These volcanoes, some active and some dormant, spewed forth lava, ash, and volcanic debris, further building up the landmass. The materials ejected during eruptions contribute to the growth of the volcanoes themselves, as well as the surrounding landscape. Over time, these deposits can create new landforms, such as volcanic plateaus and lava plains. Over millions of years, these eruptions created vast volcanic plateaus, adding another layer of impenetrability to the continent. These plateaus, formed from successive layers of lava flows, are some of the most rugged and inhospitable terrains on Earth. They serve as natural barriers, further isolating regions and making travel difficult. These volcanic eruptions, while contributing to the landmass, also had a devastating impact on the surrounding environment. The immediate aftermath of an eruption can be catastrophic, with entire ecosystems being wiped out. The ash and gases released can also have long-term effects on the climate, influencing weather patterns and temperatures. Lava flows incinerated everything in their path, 
while ash clouds choked out the sky, impacting both plant and animal life. The destruction caused by these eruptions is a stark reminder of the power of nature. However, it is also a part of the natural cycle of destruction and renewal that shapes our planet. However, over time, these volcanic landscapes gave way to fertile soils, supporting unique ecosystems found nowhere else on Earth. The minerals in volcanic ash and lava break down to form some of the most fertile soils capable of supporting diverse plant life. These ecosystems are often home to species that have adapted to the harsh conditions, making them unique and valuable for biodiversity. While the Andes Mountains form a formidable barrier along the western edge of South America, they are just one of the many natural wonders that define this vast continent. The continent's southern tip, however, presents its own set of unique and daunting challenges. Here, where the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans converge, lies the infamous Cape Horn, a place renowned for its legendary storms and treacherous seas that have claimed countless ships and lives over the centuries. This rocky headland, the southernmost point of South America, stands as a sentinel over the turbulent waters. For centuries, it has been a maritime nightmare, feared and respected by even the most seasoned sailors who dared to navigate its perilous waters. Cape Horn's reputation for danger is well-earned, stemming from its unique geographical location and the extreme weather conditions it faces. Situated at the confluence of two mighty oceans, the Atlantic and the Pacific, it is exposed to the full fury of the Southern Ocean's Roaring Forties, a band of strong westerly winds that circle Antarctica, creating some of the most challenging sailing conditions on the planet. These winds, unimpeded by any significant landmass, gather strength and momentum, whipping up towering waves that can reach heights of over 100 feet, making navigation extremely hazardous. Adding to the peril are the region's unpredictable currents which can swiftly change direction and intensity, as well as icebergs drifting up from Antarctica, posing a constant threat to vessels. The frequent fog and rain further complicate matters, reducing visibility to near zero and making it difficult for sailors to navigate safely. Navigating Cape Horn is not simply a matter of sailing. It is a true test of seamanship, courage, and a healthy dose of luck. Sailors must be prepared for the worst, as the weather can change in an instant, turning a calm sea into a raging tempest. Many ships have met their end here, their wrecks serving as a grim reminder of the dangers that lurk in these waters. Today, modern ships equipped with advanced navigation equipment and weather forecasting tools have a better chance of safely navigating Cape Horn, but the challenge remains formidable. The spirit of adventure and the respect for nature's power continue to drive sailors to conquer this legendary maritime route. As the sun sets over Cape Horn, the waters may appear calm, but the stories of those who have braved its waves live on, a testament to human resilience and the enduring allure of the sea. Despite the dangers posed by Cape Horn, the lure of a sea route around South America proved irresistible to explorers and traders. The treacherous waters, unpredictable weather, and rocky coastlines were formidable obstacles, yet the promise of new trade routes and untold riches beckoned many to take the risk. The quest for a westward passage to the riches of the East Indies drove many a daring mariner to test their skills against the might of the Southern Ocean. These brave souls were not just adventurers, they were pioneers, pushing the boundaries of the known world and expanding the horizons of human knowledge. One of the earliest and most famous voyages around Cape Horn was that of Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese explorer leading a Spanish expedition in the 16th century. Magellan's journey was not just a quest for new trade routes, but also a mission to prove that the world was round and could be circumnavigated. In 1520 Magellan's fleet, after navigating the treacherous strait that now bears his name, became the first to successfully round Cape Horn, proving that there was a way around the Americas. This monumental achievement marked a turning point in maritime history, opening up new possibilities for exploration and trade. Magellan's feet opened up the possibility of circumnavigating the globe, but it did little to diminish the dangers of rounding the horn. The Southern Ocean remained a perilous expanse with its fierce storms, icy waters, and unpredictable currents posing constant threats to even the most experienced sailors. Over the centuries that followed, countless ships and sailors met their end in those treacherous waters. The graveyard of shipwrecks near Cape Horn stands as a somber reminder of the many lives lost in the pursuit of exploration and trade. Each shipwreck added to the legend of Cape Horn, solidifying its reputation as a maritime graveyard. 
The stories of these lost ships and their crews became part of the lore of the sea, tales of bravery, tragedy, and the relentless power of nature. Yet despite the risks, ships continued to brave the passage. The lure of new lands, the promise of wealth, and the spirit of adventure drove mariners to face the dangers head on. Each successful voyage was a testament to human ingenuity, resilience, and the unyielding desire to explore the unknown. The rewards for a successful voyage were high, opening up trade routes and fueling the exploration of new lands. The goods transported along these routes, spices, silks, precious metals, transformed economies and societies, linking distant parts of the world in a web of commerce and cultural exchange. The stories of these daring mariners, their triumphs and tragedies, are woven into the fabric of maritime history, a testament to human ambition and the enduring allure of the sea. Their legacies live on in the annals of exploration, inspiring future generations to dream, to dare, and to navigate the uncharted waters of their own lives.